Welcome to the lesson on sorting with Java 8 lambdas. In this lesson, you're going to learn how sorting was done before Java 8. We're going to learn how to sort with basic lambdas. We're going to learn how to sort with a static comparator. And we're going to learn how to sort with instance methods. We're going to learn how to do a reverse sort. And we're going to learn how to sort with multiple conditions. Now let's look at some code. To talk about sorting, we have to have something to sort. Here is a basic human class with a couple of properties, name and age, just so we can practice sorting. Now let's create a unit test for our sorting. Prior to Java 8, your class either needed to implement comparable or to create a comparator. We're going to create one here as an anonymous inner class. Now let's see how you can do that with a Java 8 Lambda function. Now we've simply written our comparison inline in the Lambda function. And in circumstances like this, we can actually let the compiler determine our types for us. If we want to do something more complex, we can use a reference to a static method in our Lambda function. We can even let the compiler create the comparative for us by using a reference to an instance method. Also in Java 8 is a helper method that will allow us to reverse the sort. Let's say that we want to sort on multiple conditions. In our example, we're going to sort on name and then age. We can still let the Java compiler create our comparative for us, even with multiple conditions, by using composition to chain our comparators together. Up 
All right, I hope you've enjoyed learning about sorting with Java 8 lambdas. If you want to learn more about Java 8, definitely explore the channel. We have lots of these practical guides to various aspects of Java 8.